6.53, time for the morning sprint. The fight for Wisconsin's electoral maps could be at an end. Republicans at the state capitol making a rare agreement with Democrats to pass Governor Evers' electoral maps. It's to prevent the liberal-leaning state Supreme Court from drawing their own. The proposal is headed to the governor's desk. He has singled in the pa signaled in the past that he would sign it. UW is reviewing an incident that happened outside an engineering building Tuesday. Video here on Instagram appears to show a UW PD officer shove a protester to the ground. It also shows protesters blocking a door. The group that posted the video says people were protesting a career fair that hosted companies supplying weapons to Israel. A UW spokesperson says protesters broke the fair's guidelines. Police in Beloit say two employees from Merrill Elementary School have turned themselves in in a disorderly conduct case. Officers aren't sharing the details, but we know a 53-year-old Rockford man turned himself into police on Friday. A 61-year-old Janesville woman turned herself in yesterday. Both face charges of misdemeanor disorderly conduct. A Beaverdam firefighter is still in the hospital this morning after that airboat crash a couple of nights ago. The department was doing some ice rescue training on Beaver Dam Lake Monday when the boat crashed into a small island. Three firefighters in total were sent to the hospital. Two were treated and released yesterday morning. There's a community gathering scheduled this week in Evansville for anyone impacted by last week's historic tornado. It's going to take place at 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Evansville High School. The address for the school is 640 South 5th Street. The city of Madison facing a $27 million budget deficit. It could have some massive effects on taxpayers. City officials are working with the financial department to find solutions now to the problem before it becomes worse. Current proposals for a fix include a property tax increase of just shy of $300 on average, as well as cutting funds to city services. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas is officially impeached this morning. House Republicans made it happen in a 214 to 213 vote. Three Republicans, including Green Bay's Mike Gallagher, signing with Democrats there. The articles of impeachment are not expected to move in the Democratic-led Senate. It may be indefinitely shelved to a committee. Well, good morning, five minutes away from a 7 o'clock. A frosty start to the morning, but we're going to be warmer this afternoon with the uh, southerly winds into the uh, 40s today. That's out ahead of a storm system that will bring us some rain mixed with some snow late tonight, mainly after midnight through about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then it will be turning colder. Kind of a taste of winter, which we haven't had a whole lot of, but we do have a winter weather advisory areas uh, north of Madison starting at midnight tonight through 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, most of this accumulating snow will be affecting, uh, affecting us through the overnight period while most of us are sleeping. We'll start to see some of these clouds roll in during the afternoon hours. Some of that rain snow up there toward La Crosse, Black River Falls, Camp Douglas before midnight, but most of us really won't see that until after midnight. Beautiful sunrise coming up this morning. Some sun this morning should be in the mid 40s today with increasing cloud cover. Rain and snow late tonight through early tomorrow morning for the uh, first morning alert day. Then it turns a little bit colder with some sunshine tomorrow afternoon into a Friday. Kelly, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll have a news and weather update in 30 minutes.